everyone, in this video, we're going to explore the differences between power contactors and relays, focusing on their applications and internal structures. We start with the contactor. A contactor is an electrical component designed to switch an electrical circuit on or off. Now let's take a closer look at the internal structure of a contactor. Here you can see part of the contactor's enclosure. The enclosure is a frame that houses the contacts and the electromagnet. Enclosures are made of insulating materials like Bakelite, Nylon 6, and thermosetting plastics to protect and insulate the contacts while also providing safety from accidental contact. Now the various components are assembled into place. The coil, iron core, coil terminals, and damping ring are mounted on a frame. The core is made of ferromagnetic material that focuses the magnetic field. A coil of wire is wrapped around the core. When current flows through the wire, it generates a magnetic field. The voltage applied to the coil can be either AC or DC and is available in various levels depending on the contactor's design. The damping ring is typically found in AC contactors and reduces the vibration and noise caused by the alternating magnetic field. This ring ensures that the magnetic flux through it is not in the same phase as the flux in the core. As a result, when the core's flux passes through zero, the flux in the ring helps stabilize the armature. Here you can see the movable part of the contactor. The movable contacts are attached to the armature and move together with it. The armature is a movable piece of ferromagnetic material that is attracted to the core when the coil is energized. When current flows through the coil, it creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field attracts the armature towards the core. The movement of the armature mechanically operates the contacts, either closing or opening them, depending on the contactor's design. If you like the video so far, like it and subscribe to our channel. Now you can see the fixed contacts and their corresponding terminals. Finally, all the components of the enclosure are assembled together. The enclosure protects the internal components from dust and moisture, with IP protection levels ranging from IP20 to IP65. Auxiliary contacts can be attached to the contactor from the side or the front. As you can see, when the contactor's state changes, the auxiliary contacts change state too. You can even add multiple auxiliary contacts if needed. Each auxiliary contact typically includes one normally open, NO, and one normally closed, NC contact. But some models have more contacts. Next, let's discuss relays. A relay is a simple switch. Relays come in different types, such as electromechanical and solid state, with electromechanical relays being commonly used. Industrial relays usually come with a base, which provides access to the relay's terminals. Let's take a closer look at the internal parts of an electromechanical relay. Inside a relay, you'll find components like iron core coil, yoke armature, moving contacts, fixed contacts, freewheeling diode status indicator, momentary test button, spring. Although some relays may not have all these components, when current flows through the coil, it creates a magnetic field that pulls the armature, changing the state of the contacts. The relay remains in this state as long as the current continues to flow. Once the current stops, a spring pushes the armature and contacts back to their original position. Some relays include a momentary test button that allows you to manually change the contact state while the button is pressed. Relays can have one to four contacts depending on their design. The coil voltage can be either AC or DC, available in various levels. AC relays often include a shaded ring to stabilize the magnetic field. Do you know why this ring is used? Share your thoughts with us. In DC relays, a freewheeling diode is commonly added to the coil. This diode prevents voltage spikes, DVBDT, caused by the sudden interruption of coil current. However, this diode cannot be used in AC relays. Instead, AC relays use a snubber circuit, which consists of a resistor and capacitor connected in series. Finally, let's compare contactors and relays. The main differences between a contactor and a relay lie in their design, function, and typical applications. You can see a summary of their comparison. We hope this video was worth your time. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and share our content with your friends.